Dean, uh, I saw you earlier talking to the guys from Saralia, uh, the electric bike. Um, I believe you're down to ride that in 2017? Yeah, so yeah, it's all, uh, we've agreed now to ride that for next year again. It's, hopefully this year we can get some more development over winter and get some, get some laps under his belt really, because the potential in the bike's massive and the team, everyone's really enthusiastic as well as I am. It's always interesting to see something new and just try and make something work really, nobody, I, I don't want to see the thing not finish. What were the issues with it this year? Because you, you, you were kind of all set to go, but then it didn't happen. What were the issues for you in terms of riding it? Uh, no, for me, I, I were ready to go, to be honest. I, I were really looking forward to getting my teeth in, into it, but uh, there's a lot of little technical issues with the like, electronic side of things and, and other stuff like that. The thing is, they're a lot more intricate than you think. It's not just a matter of having I mean, a set of batteries and a motor. There's, there's a lot more that goes on under the tank than you'd actually think. So it's, it's one of them that I think we have to go away now and get the package together and try and get some testing done and, and develop it a bit more and try and refine it to make it easier to use. Is it difficult to sort of change your mindset from traditional engine, com internal combustion engine, gears, clutch, to something that is well, it's radically different, no gears, no engine braking, is that something really difficult to get your head around? Well, yeah, well you can actually have engine braking, you can actually set what you want in, in there, but the thing is with no gears it's like a bit like a twist and go sort of scooter sort of thing, it's getting the head around that's not too bad. The thing is with the no gear aspect is when you're on the modern bikes going around corners in the Isle of Man for example, you'd know maybe third, fourth, fifth gear. When we're an electric bike, you're going to have to guess the speed. You have to judge how fast you're going in your own mind yourself. Think, right, it's about the right speed. You know, you can, you've got to get in the, in the window that you need to be in, really, because you can't go rushing in somewhere and next thing you know, you're running wide. It's something that you'll just have to pick up as the week goes on through practice. And how do you manage with the weight of the bike? Because I heard you were discussing earlier that the bike is quite heavy. Is, is that something you have to take into account, given that you need high corner speed to get these things up to speed to get a good lap in? Oh yeah, definitely. It's like say so we've been talking about say weight, centre of gravity, and all sorts of stuff like that. You, you can work away at it all day, really. And that's again something that we're going to work on through winter to try and get the bike to turn better. Because if you can carry your corner speed, you can carry more straight line speed. So as long as you can get all the little things ironed out, it is, it is something you could got to think about because they are heavier than a standard modern bike, really. Because it's the batteries, obviously. You need a lot of batteries on it to go fast. And for the TT self, you got plans in place for that? Yeah, definitely I'm all signed and sealed up with silicone engineering again because it's been an absolute faultless team all year and twice I'm happy where I am, I, I want to stay and hopefully the plan is to try and go one step further. I must admit, looking at the times this year where there were so many people in the 130s, it's so difficult to get anywhere near that top step, isn't it? Oh yeah, to, to try and win a TT is a job in itself, it's just, it's, it's unreal, it's, a, it's one of the fastest road, near the fastest road race in the world, it's not far off, but it's such a long lap, there's so many things that can go wrong, it's just you've got to, you've got to work where you need a good team behind you to put the good bikes together and finish the races and to do the laps, but even to do 130 mile an hour, to do 130 mile an hour laps a job in itself, never mind 133 mile an hour, so we'll have to come back next year and have another go. Well I hope you have a fantastic 2017, thank you very much.